it's Camp Protectania, and we're going to be doing a review of the Mac Pro mid 2010 edition, 8 core, with the Radeon HD 5870 graphics card. So, as you can see in front of you, first we're just going to look around the Mac Pro. It's pretty large. It is 21.1 inches tall, it is 8.1 inches wide along the top. And it is 18.7 inches to the back in terms of depth from your perspective. So I guess we can look at the ports on the front now. We have the, you can see the power button right there. The small light above the power button, which signifies if it's on or not. It just turns white. We have the headphone jack, two USB ports. 2.0, two FireWire 800 ports. The grill is all along the front, as you can see. Ooh. If we go up here, two SuperDrive bays. You can, uh, it comes with one, but you can always have a second one installed. I have two installed. There's the Apple logo on the side. You can see the overall design. This is the 8-core model with the Westmere processors in it, Xenon, the Intel Xenon chipset. If we just look around at the side here, we just get a good look at the design. The design. There, we can see where you can plug in some power. Here are all the PCI slots. I don't have anything installed except the graphics card, which you can see at the bottom there. The two mini display port outs and the one DVI out. You can see where it cools right out of there. Well, main cooling, the whole thing's a grill. Three USB ports, two more FireWire 800 ports, optical audio in and out, analog audio in and out. Two Ethernet ports. Here is the switch. The switch to open up the side. So we're going to look inside now. So we can take a closer look. So, we have the area right there where you have, if you undid those screws and pulled that piece out, then you'd be able to install a new super drive if you'd only had one in or install a replacement. Those are the super, that's the super drive compartment. Over here is where the power supply is. If we look here, we can see hard drive bay one which you can just pull right out. It is a 3.5 inch hard drive bay, all four of them are. There's a hard drive. As you can see by the design here, it just has this piece of metal that kind of sticks onto the hard drive and you just kind of screw it in with these four screws and then it just goes onto your 3.5 incher and you can just slide it in. But there are three more slots, so there are four in total. There's the thing without any hard drive in it. I only have one hard drive installed right now. If we keep looking down, you can see the area where the graphics card is, but also the area where you would install more PCI devices. You can do that simply by clicking this button, sliding back, and then more PCI devices can slide in with these numbered slots, as you can see here. I could slide the, this out, but I have to unscrew it. 
over here. You can twist that, but it is quite tight, so I would recommend getting a screwdriver. If we look further down, we can see the CPU bay. So you can press both of these, then pull them back, kind of pops out a little bit, and then you can slide it out further. So if we just look a little bit closer here, you can see we have four cores there, four more cores over there. And you can see we have the compartments for RAM here. You can just remove RAM. I have 16 gigabytes of RAM, two 8 gig cards from OWC. Plenty of room for more expansion. We'll just slide this back in now. And there you go, the CPU bay is back in. That is the inside of the computer. You can see the light coming through the grill on the front there. This is the door. There's an Apple logo on that side. On this side, there are just instructions.